10 years though, Naeem. I mean, mm -hmm. how many people accomplish what you've been fortunate enough but worked so hard to get to? I mean, I remember 2003 mm -hmm. when you started. I also remember coming to New York City during Olympus Fashion Week mm -hmm. in 2005 when you launched. Now you know the whole story, which is okay. You, you have no idea how inspired I am by your story and the story of um, Ranjana as well, for so many reasons. But I remember that. I mean, Olympus Fashion Week 2005, and this name Naeem Khan was going around, right? Now it's a household name. Everybody has worn your clothing, you know, from Gaga to, you know, Queen Noor mm -hmm. of, um, mm -hmm. you know, of Jordan. I mean, opposite. what is, and everyone in between. Yeah. I'm inspired to know, how do you design so eclectically? Because these women are all, you know, really defined as personalities, yet somehow you're always able to design Naeem Khan for them. Like, well, you can tell mm -hmm. when a person's wearing your clothing, whether it's Gaga or whether it's Queen Noor. Well, you know, and it's difficult to do that, you know? Well, it's actually very simple. Okay. Um, I, I stand corrected. Okay. <laughs> um, you, when you design, design classic clothes, these are clothes which are timeless, right? They are, there is a formula to how you make these clothes. I'm not designing anything crazy which, uh, which is so avant-garde that it's for the season. I don't design that way. I design clothes that last forever. But when you take a classic uh, cut and you put it on Lady Gaga, it takes its own personality. Right. And you could take that same thing and put it on Queen Noor, it'll have a different personality. So the lines are clean, it's classic, it's timeless, and it works on everybody. And Lady Gaga can take it and, and make it super cool by the she way. She used the same um, colors in her hair. I mean, so, you, you know, know that, that, yeah. that switched. And, you know, and she had, you know, she, she had the colors of the Indian flag actually in her hair. Yes. And that was incredible. That was incredible. And that, that was, was ingenious. That's, yeah. that's what you call it, genius branding. Genius branding. Yes. And, and she stood up and said she's wearing nine. I mean, it was so cool yes. to let India know that she was there and she backed an Indian designer. So, you know, I just feel that my clothes are classic. My, I don't design anything which, is, which, is last, which lasts for a moment. These are clothes that will be part of history, they'll be part of the family, they'll be part of the woman for a very long time. Absolutely, and the great thing is, is when I was, um, you know, looking back at your history and you come from a family, mm -hmm. um, you know, that is inspired by the whole um, traditional garment making, mm -hmm. you know, and here you are, you had this experience in New York City, which was a very different experience in terms of learning the art of draping. And you took the traditional embellishments of, uh, the, you know, the Indian, uh, um, you know, culture, and, and, and you brought it into today's modern draping. Well, you know, I you worked... You just nailed it, excuse yeah. me. I'm going to say something that... Mm -hmm. now you, you say, why is it taken... How come it's taken so little time? In 10 years, you've gone so far. It's because of that. What you studied with Halston, what you studied with not going to school, but just, you know, hands-on experience. And then the embroidery, the embellishment, it's been third generation, so it's, yes. it's in his DNA. Yes. It's so almost in mine, okay. through yes. osmosis. You well, know? You, well, it is in yours. Yeah, this, yeah. your, look at your jewelry, bold. Mm -hmm. um, it's really interesting because even um, your story is so indicative of, this is why I'm so excited about speaking to the both of you. I mean, Naeem, you're just a household name, and I, I, oh, I really am speechless when I speak to somebody of your caliber and your, and your um, you know, authenticity of design. Because, like you said, you know, Gaga and Queen Noor, but you design one outfit and they, they both make it their own. You don't design specifically for them. You are a brand. This is me. I'm defined. I'm authentic. I'm Naeem Khan. Exactly. And they see what they want to see and they make it their own. You not, many designers, yeah. can do that. not many designers can do that. A lot of designers design for the person. But when you can get to that caliber, when people come and say, I want to wear this designer because this is what his style is indicative of, that's a whole other level. That's how you build right? a niche. That's how you build your brand. And when you look, you can recognize my clothes from, you know, you can, you can you know, point it at a party and somebody wearing something that that probably is Naeem Khan. Yes. And from and, the first collection yeah. 10 years ago, yeah. it's still yeah. relevant. We have the archives. The, those pieces are still relevant. You can wear it today and it works. It's See, like I said earlier, I mean, why, when you have worked with, I mean, Halston is literally a god of fashion. Yes. 
So when you worked with the master and you worked, and the people around him, um, Elizabeth Taylor, Liza Minnelli, uh -huh. you know, Martha Graham, you know, I mean, these are amazing people in different, uh, you know, uh, arts of their, you know, fields. And, it, and you learn how, how they take. It's just not about designing or having to know how to draw. It's how you think. Right. And how you conceive and, and you portray your art to the rest of the world. That's why Warhol was who he was. Absolutely. You know, so when you start thinking in those terms and then you make your niche and you make your brand and then you create your identity, suddenly the world opens up to you and next thing you know that you are designing thousand other things. Absolutely. Which are all relevant to this one brand that you created. And that's where we are going now so that we can have multiple brands, either it be wedding, it could be fragrance, it could be your dinner plates, it could be, you know, many, many things. Absolutely. Food. I mean, like, we, we create, you know, many things from this one brand. And you know what the interesting thing is, Naeem, is that although you've, you know, really come to a level that very few designers get to get to, mm -hmm. and you did it in 10 years, I'm still amazed at that story. Um, for you, it sounds like, the, you know, with what you're saying right now, that this is just the beginning. It's, it's almost like you've just put the foundations of the Naeem. But that's what brand, it is. It right? is. Yeah. yeah. Because you think, I look at it in terms of business. How much business have I done with the brand that I've created? I don't think I've done enough business. I mean, what I need to do is, I need to be selling globally. I need to have multiple direct, you know, directions of products. And it's, it's, it's all happening now. You cannot create multiple products if your name is not recognizable. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the time has come now to do that. So who is the Naeem Khan woman? The Naeem Khan woman is a super successful, strong, um, you know, um, she commands a presence. She is, she's the leader of the world. She's a movie star. She's, she runs an amazing family. She raises money. She is a woman who's confident, who can go out there, make a statement, and not feel, you know, she just wants to be recognized. She sounds like Ranjana Khan. <laughs> she does. <laughs> is she modeled <clears throat> on your wife? I mean, I'm really interested in yeah, that. That's Ranjana. Ranjana yes. is the same. Yes. I mean, Ranjana has her own identity. People like my friend Linda Fargo, who's the fashion director of Bergdorf Goodman, looks up to Ranjana as, as a fashion icon. Yes. That's so, what we, that's yeah. what we <laughs> yeah, But you know, it's how you put things together. Ranjana has her own way of putting herself mm -hmm. together. And how would you um, define Ranjana's um, jewelry collection? Because to me, it's bold and they're statement pieces. It is, and it's, it's... Just like her. Yeah, and it's taking the world. I mean, she takes, uh, you know, she could be doing something from Africa one season or from India or the deco periods or, you know, so Ranjana designs pieces which, are, which make a statement. Mm -hmm. Right, Ranjana? Just like, yeah. just like Naeem Khan does. Ranjana and Naeem Khan, what a fabulous story. <laughs> you guys also, um, you know, marriage, children, everything's happening. And our kids work with us. Oh, how fabulous Which that is. Which is lovely, yeah. the fourth generation, it's been, you know, so wow, it's, yeah. feels I really think, good. I think we have friends who, who are getting married at 40 and 50 or 30. I mean, they really look up to Ranjana and me as to like a testimony to that we've maintained our marriage and, you know. In all of that. In all of that. Right. And I'm not saying that everything always is perfect. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have our moments, but you know, it's you, you make, you work it, you make it happen. Absolutely. You know? And if you had that one key of advice mm -hmm. as, you know, an all encompassing personality and an all encompassing couple, what advice would you give to people out there that are aspiring to, you know, to be mm -hmm. fashion designers or any um, industry they're aspiring to go into? And just the craziness associated with, you know, the, the, the work, the children, the marriage and everything else that matters in life because it, it's all equally important. You guys have made that happen. What would you say to those people? Well, when it comes to work, um, your dedication and having a vision is super important. But also, you have to give it time. I worked in this industry for 30 years. So what you know me for is only in the last nine years. But the other 21 years, nobody knows that I worked for Halston for many, many years, carrying bolts of fabrics or, or just, you know, right down to understand how the fashion industry ticks. Um, understanding, you know, I started my own little company 
Many times it didn't work. Times it was super successful understanding how retail works. But to be persistent, to be hard at it, I mean, you have to work super hard, and to be dedicated to your job. You have to be obsessed in fashion. Mm -hmm. You cannot be one day on and one day off. Fashion is a constant, it should be constant on your mind. Absolutely. And that's how it's with me. It's constantly I'm thinking. I could be in a car, in a train, but everything is, is I look at it as an idea or, a, or something that I can get from. So, and, this, and in marriage, Ranjana, what's your advice on that? <laughs> How you make it all happen? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, it's, it's it, not it, that bad, is no, it? No, <laughs> it's a joke. I wouldn't be here after 30 something years. Absolutely. Um, I think it's, uh, you know, again, a, a lady, a, a woman's role in, in this is, um, because Naeem is obviously, you know, is always inspired, is always, uh, um, looking for you know the next thing and exciting and I know what what he likes what to make that just around him all the time there's always beautiful flowers in the house my house Aww. really I love how it looks I love it like my life he's a smart man isn't he <laughs> <laughs> he my knows library. how to take I, care of his woman he does and, I, and I and and in in turn I love he treats me like a queen and guess what that Aww. makes him the like king. King. Exactly. You know, it, that's that's basically it. It's it's, it's it's very simple, actually. It's a uh, you know in see if I didn't have a solid base as my wife and my house, how could I succeed in my business, right? Absolutely. So my success is directly related to how my relationship with my wife is. That's number one. Number two, wow, how to make that relationship work. It's not always easy, but there's no one formula. But there are simple steps. There, there are few, not few steps. There are many steps, but how I go by to have a very easy relationship. The minute where it becomes, you know, where you're tugging at one another, there's nothing such. You have to let go. You know, give Great it up. Advice. Yeah. Just let it go. Let it go. Like some things are just not meant to get sorted at that time. Exactly. Yeah. And it's, it's not about what you're doing it for me. What, what are you doing for me is what can I do for you? Ah, yeah. see, that's the magic. Yeah, because, you know, the minute you start thinking about yourself is when it's not right, according to me, okay? I don't know how it applies to anybody else. For us, what can I do for you? Mm -hmm. And to me, uh, we do for each other, mm -hmm. and it works. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when growing up in India, uh, I come from uh, a traditional family where there's an old saying that sometimes you miss this train by saying, pele up, pele up, pele up, right? <laughs> yes. So it, we're not missing any train. Yes. It's always with Ranj, pele up, you know, Aww. like first you. That's so, so adorable. Yeah, so, you know, I think, and, and we've raised our children that way. Yes. My two boys have the most amazing relationship between with, themselves, mm -hmm. between the two of them, and their, their respect for us. And, and their I mean, it's, a, it's amazing. To, how to me, if I tell my boys and Ranjana tell, like, day, they'll say day. But they have their own mind, but they have such immense respect for us. Mm -hmm. And it's because we don't command respect. We let them we see them. how we They're respect other life. people, how we respect them, and they respect us in turn. So it's, again, giving back respect. You know, you give respect to get respect. Absolutely. It's not the other way around. Yeah. No. And you guys are a testament. I mean, you've made it all happen. One final thing that I really want to ask you guys mm -hmm. is um, where now? Where are we going now with the story of Naeem Khan? Well, this is just the beginning. I mean, yes. like you, I, I am in the quest for making my brand global. Uh, like I said uh, earlier. Excuse me, yeah. news, news flash. It's already <laughs> it's there. there. <laughs> no, but no, I'm, I'm right now, it's a, it's a one stem tree, mm -hmm. right? I, I need multiple branches. And um, uh, what I need is um, like the cosmetic section, the secondary line, I'm launching Bridal, which is already in work. Uh, just did a cover story for Brides Magazine. Um, so that's launching October, February launching of the secondary line. In talks with other licensing uh, possibilities, either it be in home, um, you know, tabletop, home, um, or in fashion. Um, but my big approach is that I want to get the fragrance thing going as soon as possible because now the time has come. We have a great this opportunity in yeah, jewelry, for example, but precious jewelry. Mm -hmm. And um, so once I get all these different branches of this tree in place and then watch them work towards making it you know, sprout, then I think that's where my dream is. And you yeah. know, I think bag, that shoes. anyone... Mm -hmm. 
anyone's going to do it, Naeem, um, that comes from our community mm -hmm. around the world, it's going to be you. Well, In 10 you. years, you've made a miracle happen. Really, you are a tremendous testament to hard work, authenticity. You're an artist, family man. All of these things matter, you know? And this is the story that, you know, people need to know. This is how you make a global successful brand. And this is just the beginning. But for us, this height is a height that no one has accomplished anywhere in the world from the South Asian um, well, diaspora. I'm, I'm really like, I, I, you know, when I came here first and I was working for Halston, it was my dream that I wanted to be the first Indian to have made it in some form in the, in the fashion world. And I tell you, I'm, I'm grateful to have done it. To, to have, I mean, to have happened for me. Uh, yes. And, uh, but I just feel that it has been a long, hard journey. Yes. It doesn't happen overnight. Never does. And never does. And well, it happens to certain people very quickly. But uh, they lose but, it very quickly. But exactly. Too, so, and, and to me, Raj, I have, yes. we have built this business one block at a time. Right. And we know the, the, crux of this business. Mm -hmm. And I know how to ship my product. I know how to computerize my product. I know how to design my... He's not I, just the designer. I'm not just a designer. The I build this business ahead. from yep. everything. Wow. So you can, I can go into my shipping department and I'll know what's going on. Right. I can question you and I totally understand how it all works. So when you know the, the guts and glory of your business, mm -hmm. it really helps you. But sometimes that's been a bit of a to, that I've taken upon too much for myself, but I'm letting it go to and professionals. And now the boys, the boys, and my sons are happy. Yeah, I'm handing over things to different things people to because the, the business is expanding. And But I'm also not letting it go too fast right. because that's when things can that's go wrong. That's key, right? Yeah. yeah, so you do one step at a time. So like right now I'm launching Bridal. Bridal, I know, in the next three years, will be as big a business as my ready-to-wear business. Absolutely. So three years, but I wanted to build slowly. We have stores lining up like crazy. We're not giving it to everybody. We're only going to give it to, there are 200 stores that want it. We're going to give it to 20 stores. Wow. Because we want it to be exclusive. exclusive. Absolutely. And that's when, that's how you create a demand for it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we're going to create it and then slowly build it up. So, you know, how do you get on top on people who are already established in that business by not going out there and flooding the market by actually creating a reserve, like really tightness to the product. And that's what we're gonna do with it. My darlings, I adore you both. You, Thank you both are a testament to, you know, giving all of those people out there inspiration. Keep it simple, keep it authentic, and just work keep it real. hard. Yeah. Work yeah, hard exactly. for what you've got. You know, we come from such rich culture, such a rich culture. Yeah. We've got so much to offer. And there's and room for all of us. Absolutely. There is, yeah. right? And, yeah. and to give back. Yeah. It feels well, so Anyway, good. thank you so much, Raj. Thank you so much. Nice talking to you. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.